What's going on guys? Welcome back to another weekly crypto market update brought to you by GameStarter. My name is Joe and I'm here to bring you all the latest in crypto and NFT news, as well as a look behind the scenes at what's going on at GameStarter. This week I'm sharing with you my personal dollar cost averaging strategy that I'm using to navigate this market safely and stress free to take advantage of this bear market and hopefully ride the wave up to all time highs when the bull market returns. We also have a couple NFT stories, some project updates, and some things that we're going to be keeping an eye on with the crypto markets as a whole. If you like this kind of content, if you want to stay up to date with what's going on behind the scenes at GameStarter, as well as understanding what's happening in the crypto markets right now make sure to smash that like button subscribe to our channel and drop in the comments down below have you started accumulating yet or are you all in already or are you waiting for prices to go lower anyways guys let's change things up and start out with the market update i wish there was more exciting news to report but honestly it's been a pretty boring week we saw a pretty low dip to under 18,000, but really anything below that is just getting bought up really quickly right now all eyes are on the fomc meeting which is expected to raise current interest rates by 75 basis points but there's always a chance that the fed could pivot if we only see a 50 point hike we might see a nice bounce and relief rally to the upside for bitcoin however above 75 could put some selling pressure on the markets as right now it seems like 75 is what's priced in i know week in and week out i tell you guys make sure you have a strategy and that i'm dollar cost averaging into my positions for the long run but i want to take an extra minute today and talk about my personal strategy and how i'm looking at my dollar cost averaging in a simple and stress-free way so firstly i am focusing on coins that i believe are going to be here for the long term and my portfolio is being weighted more heavily in Bitcoin and Ethereum for extra stability and risk mitigation. On the Bitcoin chart, I've marked out various ranges with a basic plan of how much or little I'm going to be buying or selling based on where we are on the chart. As we've dropped over 70% since all-time highs, I'm comfortable starting to go more heavy into my dollar cost averaging strategy. And as we drop lower, I'm actually planning to get more and more aggressive with that buying. As you can see, once we start breaking up toward the upside, I'll be reevaluating my strategy, but I'll actually be looking to buy less and less. And as we continue to rise i'll be looking to sell more and more what's great about this strategy is i don't really care where the market goes at this point and in fact i don't mind if we hang out at the lows or we go even lower for a little while longer as i'll be able to be taking advantage of those lower prices and i personally am quite confident that we're going to see all-time highs within the next couple years now it's important to not use money that you're going to need in the near future as you need to be able to stack sats and let them ride understanding that we could definitely go down further from here but i personally am not a professional trader i have lost money and even the trades that i've won end up being very stressful in general and this allows me to kind of set and forget while still actively managing and at the end of the day it still leaves me with a great return so long as bitcoin ethereum and these other top altcoins make a return to their former glory anyways guys this is not financial advice but just an idea or strategy that i'm personally implementing and see how you can modify it to help meet your own goals so let's talk about some updates for some upcoming projects launching on the game starter platform so first of all on september 23rd haunted space is minting their end NFT collection. Anyone who makes the whitelist and then anyone who gets a public sale after will have a chance to purchase a Genesis Pass, granting them many perks within the Haunted Space ecosystem, including an avatar airdrop, increased earning potential for in-game play, and free access to the single-player game once the game drops. If you remember, we had an awesome conversation with them not too long ago, hearing more and more about the game, and I'm so excited about the future of this project, and I really think it's going to be a hit. So I have Koakuma launching their closed beta version 2, and that's going to be coming in October, and then Polygod launching their closed beta later this month as well. We're going to make sure to keep you updated on past and future projects that we at GameStarter are partnered with, because remember, a rising tide raises all ships, and especially in these conditions, it's so important to be building relationships and communities where we can all help each other and rise to the top together. Together, and we want nothing more than to see these other projects succeed. In other news, we got a cool update from Dark Frontiers talking about the size of the actual download file for the game itself. Back in the original Streamathon, the download file was only about 5 gigabytes, but due to the new maps, textures, customizations, items, etc. The file itself is now up to 25 gigabytes. This just goes to show how much work the devs are putting in on this game and really how fast they are moving. I know like you, I can't wait to get my hands on the next version of the game and we'll be keeping you updated on the opportunities for you to actually play the next closed alpha. And finally, let's hop into some crypto and blockchain news stories from around the space. We talked a little bit last week about a couple big companies looking into potentially getting into blockchain gaming and it looks like that's not slowing down. 
down. Bandai Namco and Sega are two more gaming giants that are looking to potentially get into crypto gaming as well. And they're not just looking to integrate blockchain into old games, but actually build out whole games and franchises around blockchain gaming itself. They understand it's going to be a period of adjustment, and while there certainly is some backlash from among some gamers within the community, they see the opportunities that blockchain brings to the gaming space, and with such huge and influential companies leading the charge, this could end up being a tidal wave of adoption for NFTs, and gaming would be leading the way. And finally, did you know that T-Mobile might be getting in the crypto game? That's right, blockchain company Nova Labs has teamed up with T-Mobile to provide subscribers to the Helium 5G network, as well as T-Mobile's network. As you might remember, Helium hotspots were all the rage this past bull market, and it was a bit of a gold rush with people trying to get as many miners as they could to earn some easy passive income. Some people are calling it a scam, some people think it's legit, while some people just want the money. But T-Mobile seems to think that something's there. Basically, people will be able to subscribe to Helium Mobile, which is a 5G crowdsourced network, and then subscribers can then access both Helium's 5G network as well as T-Mobile's. Love seeing this new type of integration for blockchain and cryptocurrency in the mobile phone space. I only think it's going to get more and more crazy from here. So drop a comment down below, what do you think about Helium and this partnership with T-Mobile? Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you this week. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope that you got something out of it. Once again, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, drop a comment down below, say hi for me, and let me know what you think of the video. And as always, guys, I'm Joe with GameStart, wishing you all the best in your blockchain endeavors. Peace.